Yo guys, what's up? I'm making another video so soon. Even I didn't expect. Okay, anyway. Uh, so this video, as you can see, the title is going to be about how to get into a music university. So, if you have just completed your school or you are about to complete your school or even if you have done your bachelor's or you are in your bachelor's but still you want to study music, so this video is for you. Oh, why am I sounding like the people who make advertisements? I'm not you want to make advertisements or advertisements or some to say that. Uh, anyway, so in order to get into music university, you have to first complete two rounds. Um, yeah, there are mainly two rounds. Some may even have three, but generally there are two. So the first round is pre-selection and the second round is audition slash entrance exam. So let's begin. I'm going to talk about today uh, uh, mainly about two main subjects. The first one is composition and the second one is performance, which includes your main instrument. If you want to study your main instrument, like it can be, I don't know what's your main, main instrument, maybe piano, guitar, violin saying it you know so let's first talk about composition uh, so as i told you you have to complete uh, as i told you you have to qualify two rounds the, the first one is pre-selection and the second one is your entrance exam or your audition for composition you don't have to give an audition but you have to give an entrance exam but let's first talk about the pre-selection like what do you have to do in the pre-selection uh, pre so like first you have to obviously select the university of your choice and then uh, while applying you have to submit three portfolios or rather should I say the scores slash sheet music of your three compositions and if the judges or the professors like it then you will be invited to the second round that is the audition slash entrance exam in the entrance exam there's an entrance exam for music theory and another entrance exam for ear training or we say it oral or in German Gehörwissen. Regarding the submission of your own compositions, uh, I would like to give you one tip. In Germany, the professors uh, who see your compositions, they expect you to compose at least one piece of avant-garde music or you can even say like atonal music uh, because they want the students uh, or rather I should say the future students to be very unique like they want to have varieties so don't go on composing in the style of I would say like Mozart or Beethoven you may think like it would be cool you are following various classical rules but I'm telling you because I've applied to many universities and I've talked to many professors so they don't like it at all because many students try to uh, imitate a style of another composer but the thing is that you lose your individuality there so you have to uh, create your own style that would be my suggestion and uh, be unique they expect uniqueness they want uniqueness like at the maximum level, level possible so uh, like if you are used to only composing classical music or romantic music I would um, suggest you that uh, you should also go into avant-garde music because then you will have a very high chance to get in so this is about the pre-selection also one more thing, as you want to apply for composition, uh, you must be also playing an instrument, right? So like, for example, if your instrument is piano, then you would also have to submit um, your recording uh, of playing the piano. Uh, they will, you can see uh, on, the, on your university's website where you want to apply, they have a list of certain pieces or sometimes they even just tell, okay, just play one piece from this period and one piece from this period so they just want to check like uh, your proficiency at your uh, proficiency at your instrument and then you are going to go now the level of the music theory entrance exam it varies from university to university like some have easy some have uh, a medium level difficulty and some are really very really difficult I will put a link in the description for the list of music universities in Germany then you choose for yourself which university you want to apply at then you can see the requirement for yourself but the uh, requirements I'm telling you are very very general like all the universities require at least this much so now the entrance exam as I told you about the music theory entrance exam um, 
you have to check it with your university. They have a sample paper most of the times uploaded on their website. You can check it. And now about the ear training entrance exam. It also varies from university to university. But some things they are going to test for sure is intervals, the distance between two notes. They are just going to play, for example, and they will tell you to write down the interval between these two notes. So you have to study music theory for this also. But yeah, you know, like it's pretty much like that. Sometimes they will play a chord like this, and they will tell you like which chord is this and uh, what is the inversion of this chord. So. It's not that easy, but it's also not that hard. You can uh, get to this level with practice and practice only. Another question uh, they can ask you in the ear training entrance exam is to notate the rhythm. For example, they will tell you, okay, we are going to begin in 4-4 four, four, and then they are going to clap a rhythm and then you have to notate it. For example, they say 1-2-3-4. And then you have to notate it on the sheet music. So uh, that's pretty much it, I think, for the uh, ear training exam. When you qualify the pre-selection round, after the music theory and entrance exam, they also invite you for a, I think, one-hour interview. In my case, it was one and a half hour. Like I talked a lot with the with the professors, so like it's uh, I think around one hour, or maybe half an hour. So they basically talk about the compositions that you have submitted. They will ask you to give uh, one. Uh, they will ask you to give an analysis of one of your compositions of your choice. And first, you have it's like kind of a presentation that you have to give. After you have given your analysis, uh, the professors will start asking you some questions. I can I can't tell you what questions they are going to ask because like, uh, I don't know. Like it's it depends from it depends from professor to professor. Like what question is he or she going to ask you? So. All the best for that. Um, but if you have uh, done your analysis very, very well, then there is no need to update. Uh, you will do great because they just want to check if the composition that you have submitted, uh, if it is your own work or not, or you have just like uh, told someone else to compose it for you and you are just bringing it for the sake. Now, this was one part of the interview. The second part of the interview is going to be. That they are going to present you a composition and you have to analyze it on the spot without preparation. You can, uh, it's, uh, don't worry, it's not that difficult. They just ask you, okay, you have to tell which period this composition is from, just looking at the score slash sheet music. And they will ask you, okay, how many instruments can you see or stuff like that. What is the key of this? Yeah, they just want to check some. But they are going to ask you for sure, like what is the period of this. But suppose uh, if you get an avant-garde piece, then the questions are going to be difficult. Uh, you have to study then avant-garde music, or avant-garde, or I should say serialist, serialistic music, or modern music, 20th century music. So uh, yeah, this was the second part of the interview. The third part of the interview. Uh, includes some personal questions like why do you want to study music particularly at the university like how did you get to know this university or what are your future goals and uh, what are you going to give to the university what are your expectations from this university you know stuff like that so you have to be prepared very very well and yeah this this is this was pre pretty much uh, about the interview um, the competition in Germany specifically because there is no tuition fee is pretty much tough because of this so yeah you have to work hard now let's get to performance as I told you before performance means like you want to study your instrument as your main subject for example piano guitar bass guitar acoustic guitar classical guitar so many kinds of guitar drums singing etc Today I will be giving you an example for piano because I play the piano. So I uh, will just see the screenshot that I took. These requirements are from the University of Berlin Hans Eisler. That's obviously in Berlin because the name includes Berlin Hans Eisler. That's also a very good university where you can apply. There's no tuition fees here. So 
what is the requirement for pre selection you have to make a recording a video recording of yourself as i told you before and they have uh, included the pieces as well so you have to play three pieces uh the first is a baro polyphonic work for example js bar preludes and fugues from the well tempered clavier the second is uh, a movement of a classical sonata like it can be a like moonlight sonata by beethoven or you can even play a haydn sonata or a mozart sonata Uh, it depends upon your choice. I would say one thing: don't go for moonlight sonata because it's like very, very, very popular. Uh, here, I would suggest you that you should choose a sonata that is um, that sounds good, that is a bit technical as well, which shows your technical skills, and which the professors may find very intriguing. Okay, uh, this piece is very unique, or how did you find this piece? or the piece through which you can express yourself very well so the third piece a virtuosic etude uh, for example a revolutionary etude from chopin or any etude from liszt like those who play the piano know like <laughs> liszt man it's just liszt movements for chopin as well but liszt like okay that's also a topic for another day so uh these are the requirements for uh, pre selection if you get selected you will get an invitation to the entrance exam and in for uh, and for performance the entrance exam is basically your audition but you also have to give uh, music theory and ear training as well so what goes for the audition uh this is just uh, one example from the university berlin hans eisler as i told you before i will be again and again telling this that every university has its own requirements so please check it but i'm just giving an example so you have a uh, like a short mind map so for the audition you have to play four works from different stylistic eras including one polyphonic work for example again js bar preludes and fugues from the well tempered clavier one classical sonata one representative romantic work one work of the 20th or 21st century a virtuosic etude and also in the audition they ask you to cite three of these so uh please work on your cite reading as well uh one suggestion i would like to give you for cite reading is that they give you one or two minutes to see the piece i would like to say whatever you play don't stop in between and play it with confidence like even if you are making mistakes don't worry about it just uh while um uh when you get the time to see the piece uh, to see the piece before playing to see what is the mood of the piece and if you are able to deliver uh the correct interpretation you know notes don't matter that much i'm telling you like if, even if you make like a few errors uh it doesn't matter but please don't stop that would make it never stop okay just uh play the piece play the whole piece so uh This is this was for the audition exam and that's pretty uh, pretty much it. I've already told you about the music theory and ear training um, in the composition section and that also goes uh, for the, uh, the the students uh, who want to go for performance. So that's pretty much it for performance. And if you get selected in the audition, then they will inform you by email. or by post if uh, it depends upon you know, what is the mode of communication you have selected in the application then they will inform you whether you got selected or not uh uh this a uh, super tip that i'm going to give you that would definitely increase your chances of getting selected in a music university so before you apply to a university i would uh, highly recommend that you please talk to your professor just email him or her that hey i am so and so i want to study this at your university and like uh, basically give your profile and everything you know uh basically uh introduce yourself in the email who you are and what you want to study and blah 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 about that so what happens the professor gets to know you in advance and um uh, when he or she sees you in the entrance exam they already know you so you have a better chance so uh 
besides these musical requirements there are also some various other requirements that the uh, university uh, expects you to complete or uh, to be more specific a german music university expects you to complete the first is you have to create a tabular cv i would recommend you can uh, create uh, your cv from europass i would put the link in the description the second thing that is required is to submit a letter of motivation or you can even say a personal letter or a statement of purpose where you uh, tell that uh, why you want to study at this particular university your whole musical journey uh, how you got here how you came to know about this university and from which professor you want to st- study music specifically so you have to do a lot of research because they are provide providing you musical education for free so they, these german music universities are very very specific the the third thing and one of the most important things it can be even the most important thing is you have to know german language yeah everything comes with a price if you are studying music for free there has to be a catch you have to learn german language and most of you must be already doing it but if you are uh, applying for bachelor's you have to know german till b2 level although there are some music universities that don't require you to learn german and they teach you in english but those are mainly private universities which cost a lot of money so if you have money and you don't want to learn german then it's your choice but uh, i would still suggest go for a public music university then you will save really a lot of money a lot of money you will save a lot of money believe me that is compared to a private music university you will uh save a lot but there is an exception uh there is one private music university that is baron boim side academy which is in berlin uh that teaches you music for free and they teach you in english. but it's really 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 competitive so all the best for that uh, one more requirement that you need to fulfill uh it also depends from university to university is that uh for example if you have just completed your school in india you may have to do a student college that means a preparatory college before you get into a music university although uh, most of the music universities don't require that the general university requires uh, the general university requires that like if you want to study science or mathematics they require you to attend a student college or a preparatory college before but most uni- uh, music universities don't require that in case of my university they did require it but there was an exception they told me if i show outstanding artistic ability in the entrance exam then i won't have to attend a preparatory college and then i then i won't have to attend a preparatory college and I can directly study in bachelor's. I would also make a video how I got into a German music university without attending a preparatory college.